Hi there everybody, I hope you're all okay coping with the uh, coronavirus. Um, I've decided to make a short film about my trailer bites. I absolutely love um, trailer bites and these ones that I'm actually going to show you, um, I bought them from a fossil shop uh, just down in Robin Hood's Bay. Fantastic shop, lots of uh, different species and they've got bones of ichthyosaurs and uh, plesiosaurs and of course they've got plenty of ammonites they've even got some uh, fossil crabs but um, I've got some trilobites here uh, these are my favourite ones that I've bought um, they're nearly all the same type of trilobite but I'd just like to uh, take you through them and um, tell you a bit about them so uh, here we go Now they're only small, but they're absolutely fantastic. They've got some really fantastic detail on them and they've been fossilised very well. So let's take an in-depth look on these trilobites. Yeah, these, uh, these trilobites uh, were an arthropod, easy recognisable by their distinctive three-segmented form. Trilobites, exclusively marine animals, first appeared at the beginning of the Cambrian period, which was about 542 million years ago, when they first dominated the seas. And they dominated the seas for millions of years afterwards. And you can see with this one, it's in perfect condition. The gentleman or the lady that's actually worked on this trilobite must have spent hours on it because it is absolutely superb and uh, these are available from the um, shop in uh, Robin Hood's Bay and they were quite reasonably priced as well so that's that one move on to this one this one's a bit flatter now each trilobite body segment bore a pair of jointed appendages the forwardmost appendages were modified into sense and feeding organs most of the trilobites had a pair of eyes and they're very complex eyes for the time and some of them however were um, eyeless so those trilobites that were eyeless were uh, probably feeding uh, in very low light levels and some trilobites were definitely predators because you don't have complex eyes without being a predator but some of them that science has proven were probably eating plankton and some of them may, may even be uh, scavengers And here's another one of my my trilobites in a different formation again. Absolutely beautiful, and you can see the uh, the three segments. You've got this segment, you've got the middle segment, and you've got the head. Beautifully detailed. Quite happy with these trilobites. Uh, they came in small ones like this or you could get really big ones indeed three to four feet long most of the different species of trilobites were actually found in uh, in Morocco and there's a lot of variety of them there could be up to 50,000 species in total and there's probably no doubt more to be discovered they have complex eyes. Some of the trilobites have uh, more than 5,000 lenses. Can't imagine that, can you? But we'll uh, take a close look at the eyes now. Yeah, so here are me, uh, me trilobites. I love me trilobites. These are the best three that... Um, 
that I have and you can see that they're uh, really nice specimens that have been prepped really well and uh, you can see the um, little dots for the eyes of this uh, this trilobite and they have the most complex eyes in the whole of the Cambrian period absolutely fantastic now then let's talk about the uh, trilobite's eyes as you can see there they've got very complex eyes and today most of the animals have soft tissue for eyes but the trilobites changed all this because their eyes are actually made up of rock they're made up of a mineral um, called calcite it's a crystalline form of chalk and trilobites in the Cambrian period all had these eyes and it made them superb predators and it gave them superb eyesight up to 360 degrees around their body so they could be protected from other predators and like I've said some trilobites had up to 5,000 different lenses in their eyes now that is very complex eyes isn't it and uh, I'm still learning about the varieties of the trilobites I am going to be getting some other ones uh, some with spikes on because I think they look uh, pretty cool uh, so if you've liked this video guys like and subscribe and I shall be doing some more videoing of some of my other fossils that I've collected over the years